In 2004, Christian apologist William Lane Craig co-authored a book with atheist philosopher Walter Sinnott Armstrong entitled Does God Exist? A Debate Between a Christian and an Atheist. At some point in it, Armstrong criticizes William Lane Craig the following way, quote, Craig cites many authorities. Watch out for authorities, especially when someone cites too many. This is the fallacy of excessive footnotes. It's fine to cite some authorities, but they must be cited accurately in context and on topics on which they really are authorities. Moreover, authorities have biases. Most importantly, authorities are useless where controversy lives, as in philosophy. For every philosopher whom Craig cites, I could quote others who claim the opposite. Almost no view is so absurd that you can't find some philosopher who held it. But the fact that a philosopher says something is no argument that what that philosopher says is true. That goes for me too. You have to judge for yourself." End quote. Craig replies with this, quote, finally, the charge of excessive footnotes. This is really the charge of a fallacious appeal to authority, but as Wesley Salmon puts it, quote, there are correct uses of authority as well as incorrect ones. It would be a sophomoric mistake to suppose that every appeal to authority is illegitimate for the proper use of authority plays an indispensable role in the accumulation and application of knowledge." End quote. In order to count as evidence, the testimony must be from an honest and reliable authority on a matter in the person's field of expertise. In that case, quote, the appeal to a reliable authority is legitimate for the testimony of a reliable authority is evidence for the conclusion." End quote. End end quote. Craig blabbers for a little more about how the authorities he uses are reliable, but he avoids addressing the point Armstrong has made about the use of citations when discussing controversial issues. In addition, Craig has cherry-picked philosopher Wesley Salmon's words so to give the false impression that the author shared his opinion instead of his opponent's one. A few paragraphs later the quote Craig has used, Salmon writes, quote, authorities who are equally competent, as far as we can tell, may disagree. In such cases, there is no reason to place greater confidence in one than in the other, and the people are apt to choose the authority that gives them the answer they want to hear. Ignoring the judgment of opposed authorities is a case of biasing the evidence. When authorities disagree, it is time to reconsider the objective evidence upon which the authorities have supposedly based their judgments. End quote. With this, we can tell Salmon actually appears to support Armstrong's position about the use of authorities when discussing topics where controversy lives. The fact Craig evaded this point when responding to Armstrong and then omitted a section of Salmon's book that supported said point is a sign of deep dishonesty by his part. That will be all. See you next time.